consider the following statements regarding the National Commission for Scheduled Tribes NCST. It was established under the 89th Constitutional Amendment Act 2003. The tenure and conditions of service are determined by President. The NCST has the powers of a civil court while investigating complaints of rights violations. All members of the NCST must belong to scheduled tribes to ensure better representation. How many statements given above are correct? In this video series of Polity Playlist, we are explaining most expected question topics for UPSC prelims 2025. Watch all the videos in this playlist of our Clarity UPSC channel to cover and revise Indian polity. The National Commission for Scheduled Tribes was established in 2004 after the 89th Constitutional Amendment Act of 2003. Before this, the combined National Commission for SCs and STs handled tribal issues. But scheduled tribes face unique challenges, so a separate commission was created to address them effectively. The NCST consists of five members, a chairperson, a vice chairperson and three other members, all appointed by President of India. The President also determines their tenure and service conditions. The NCST's main role is to monitor safeguards provided to scheduled tribes under the constitution and other laws. It ensures the proper implementation of welfare schemes and addresses tribal grievances. The commission can investigate complaints about rights violations and has civil court powers during inquiries. This includes summoning people, examining evidence and accessing public records. However, it is important to note that the NCST cannot take punitive actions or enforce its recommendations. It only investigates and recommends actions to the concerned ministry or government agency, which is responsible for taking appropriate steps. The NCST submits annual reports to the president. These reports compile all the recommendations made during that year. The president then presents the report to parliament along with a memorandum prepared by the government which explains the actions taken on the Commission's recommendations. This ensures accountability in implementing tribal welfare measures. The Commission can also submit special reports on urgent matters if needed. The NCST's work is not limited to forest rights. It also deals with issues like education, health, land rights and employment to improve the socio-economic condition of scheduled tribes. Its members need not necessarily be from tribal communities but must have the expertise to address tribal issues. In short, the NCST plays a crucial role in safeguarding the rights of scheduled tribes but it functions through investigations, advice and reports without direct enforcement powers. Now you can answer the question. Pause it and answer. Statement 1, 2 and 3 are correct. Fourth one is wrong. Hence, answer is C. Only three statements are correct. Subscribe and join our Clarity UPSC Telegram channel using the link given below.